said my name, said Mike Daly, and it's nice to have the same name as a successful British Olympic athlete. I could have wondered if me and Daly Thompson are related. <laughs> I'd like to tell you something about myself. It's a reflective pronoun. I've been using conjunction with me for added emphasis. <laughs> you might see me on Mike McIntyre's Roadshow. I was in the fourth row there. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm from Windsor actually, and um, obviously as you know it's uh, home of the Queen, that's right, Alvin John's in the house there. <laughs> and there was an advert in the local paper from the Crown Estate saying logs for sale. And I thought I always knew there was a lot of dead wood at the castle. <laughs> We've also got Megaland there, I had a meal there earlier today, ever since then I've been shipping bricks. <laughs> And the, the nearest town is, um, is Slough, which the uh, Queen Mother famously said she loved the view from Windsor Castle until they built Slough. <laughs> it's quite a happening place, so a lot of flashing lights, most of the new ones. <laughs> sort of place as well where there's sort of dead animals in the garden. You know, they have more furniture on the outside of the house than the inside. <laughs> You often hear the phrase, you ginger cunt. <laughs> While someone's shouting at a fox. <laughs> there also a uh, lot of stories there on, in, on the papers. Things like, headline from a poor grieving mother saying something like, um, he died doing what he loved doing best. Driving at 90 miles an hour on the wrong side of the road in a stolen car. <laughs> I've got some other examples of an inch. We often run a Help Us Name a Teddy Bear competition. It's taken rather a dark turn this year. Help Us Name a Dead Man. <laughs> uh, another one, this is from my rival paper. We quite like taking this out there. It says, headline here, headline here. I just went with a proof copy. <laughs> and this is my favourite ever from July from a Slough Observer. £100 rebound for the town. Early <laughs> 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 today I was at the library and uh, I had to go to the toilet and as I turned to flush I saw this sign on the wall which left me in rather a predicament. Please don't flush anything down this toilet other than toilet paper. <laughs> um, I was out in my van early today in, uh, in Bracknell. I pulled over and I was eating a sandwich and a guy came up to me and he knocked on the window. And he said, you can't stay here, sir. And I looked back and I thought, well, well, why not? And um, he got out a badge and it said, Branch Security Officer for Bracknell Forest. <laughs> Just the one person. Um, it's story. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, I work for the paper and we've got, a, we've got a motoring correspondent on the paper. And he's called Ray Buggy. Uh, also, near Windsor, there's a place called Eaton, you may have heard of. Yes. And there's a... There's a uh, a bird sanctuary there for wild fowl. And the guy who runs it is called Tim Heron. Whilst <laughs> <laughs> wrong names, my last one in that run of that is um, I went to Asda, and whilst I was there, I got um, some of the guys there to clean my van, you know, with a power washer. And that's the guy's name, because we got him so well, and he said his name was Lance. <laughs> A couple of other things. Um, I haven't got these ones with me, but it doesn't really make a lot of difference. There was a front page headline which actually said, Dog wins loudest bark competition. So you think of it, sounds okay. But if you examine it, who else did they think was going to win? <laughs> we also had uh, Man Loses Keys, that was the front page as well. Admittedly, he was a locksmith, but, you know. In fact, he, he was on there two weeks, because we actually ran with Man Fine's kids. <laughs> um, 
we've got the Theatre Royal there as well. And um, one night, Pauline Collins was, was uh, performing there. And as part of her act, she had to do some cooking. And she said, I, I'm a proper actress, I don't want to mind doing cooking. I want you to connect a cooker up for me. So they did, and uh, each night she cooked some chips. And she said, um, I want to give them to the Irish stagehand because I don't think he's eating properly. And then she went on to say that there were six performances a week and uh, two on Sunday, so I think he's still not eating properly. <laughs> Just to end on a few quick old ones. Every time Fats Domino fell over, invariably the rest of his family did. <laughs> Problem with identical twins is, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Nick Clay walked into a bar, barman says, why the about face? <laughs> and I'll always remember where I was when I heard about the death of Liam Trotsky. I was listening to a Stranglers record. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'll be my day. Thank you.